Section 6 Drill Through and Master Detail Relationship. This is our last section of this video course wherein we will work on the product sparkline page. In this section, we will learn putting container within container, drill through to another report, and we will give finishing touches. Container within container. Putting a data container, chart, or visualization within another data container and then defining relationship between them so that meaningful data is retrieved is called master detail relationship. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating a list report to pull product lines, insert sparkline inside this list to achieve the repeating sparkline at each row, then define relationship between them to pass appropriate context. And we will cover two ways to define the relationship via data item and via filter. So let's go to our sales dashboard and open the third page called product sparklines. In previous section, we created this sparkline using microchart object. What I would like to do is show this sparkline for each product line. And in order to do that, I will start with pulling a data container called list. As always, Cognos is asking me what should be the name of this list object and corresponding query. So I'll call it P product lines. And the query will be called Q product lines. Now we'll go to data pane, open Go data warehouse, sales marketing, and sales namespace. And from products query subject, we will drag product line. As I am in the preview mode, I can see how this list is going to look like when an end user runs it. And this list is going to show me one row for one product line. In total, it is going to show me five product lines. In order to show the sales performance spark line for each of these product lines, I will now drag the micro chart into the list as a new column. This flashing vertical line shows me that a new column will be created. And I will drop the micro object in here. So we have successfully put a data container within a data container, which is list. However, notice that the spark line is exactly same on each row. That is because each of these spark line is showing me the complete data set rather than it being specifically filtered for the product line. So we will select the spark line, open properties, and we are going to define a property called master detail relationship. But before I do that, I have to go to the underlying query called Q sparkline that drives what data is being displayed in the sparkline. So let's open that from Query Explorer. And we see that at the moment, it is showing me quantity by month key, but there is no filter for product line. The first thing I'm going to do now is add product line filter in here as a detail filter and define a prompt parameter. So essentially I'm defining this filter to say that every time I want to show the spark chart, I want it to be for a specific product line and the value of the product line will be driven by the parameter called p underscore product line. Now we will go back to our page. Notice that it is now asking me to select product line because it is a mandatory filter. For the time being, I will just select camping equipment and click OK. But at the moment, all of these spark lines are now filtered for camping equipment. And we will change that by now defining master detail relationship. When I click on this button, the dialog to define master detail relationship shows up, which shows me the query 
for the list report or for the outer container on left hand side it shows me the master query or the outer container query on the left hand side and the detailed query or the inner container query on right hand side and notice that on right hand side i also see the prompt parameter called p product line which applies to the detail query so i'm going to click on the new link button and here on right hand side i will select p product line so essentially i'm saying that the outer container drives the inner query by passing each value of the product line to the parameter called p product line let's click ok and see how it looks now notice that all the spark lines have been refreshed and they are all showing different trends basically each row of the master query is now being passed to the detail query and each time the detail query is run it is running for the specific product line that it belongs to so the first spark line is now specific for camping equipment this one is specific for golf equipment and this one is specific for mountaineering equipment and so on so this is one way of achieving master detail relationship wherein we are passing each row of the auto query to the prompt which is used for filtering the inner query i would like to show you another way of linking the two containers as well and that is via linking data item so for that i will go back to q spark line query and instead of defining a filter here i will delete that and i will rather pull product line as a data item in this query subject now go back to the product spark line so notice that again all of them are exactly same because we have removed the filtering now click on one of the chart and now we have to somehow use the newly added data item product line from q spark line onto the chart so i'm going to drag this product line and put it in series now each chart is going to show one spark line for one product line so each of them is showing five lines but now i can link the outer query with the inner query based on the product line data item so go back to master data relationship cognos is now saying that invalid relationship has been removed because the filter parameter doesn't exist anymore hit okay and this time click on new link and join the outer product line with inner product line and click ok and we have basically achieved the same thing as we achieved before with the filter parameter that each spark line now shows the trend for the corresponding product line hence camping equipment trend is different from the golf equipment and so on so there are two ways to define the master data relationship if in the inner container you are using the data item already that you can link to the outer data container then you can define the link between them and if you are not using the if there is no common data item for example product line was a common data item here then you can define that as a filter in the inner query as well and then pass the value or link the product line data item to the filter parameter for the inner query so let's summarize this video we saw an example of why master data relationship would be needed and we looked at two ways of passing the context to inner container via data item linking and via filter parameter linking